This is possibly the most fun way to use ChatGPT that I've yet come across. I look forward to seeing your comments below. Do you have a fun way to use ChatGPT? So this is how I'm doing it. Growing up, I played a computer game uh, called Ultima 4. Uh, it was a role-playing game where, as the hero, I was going through the realms and, you know, fighting monsters and growing in my character. And I just, it just had a, such a deep impact on me that I've always thought about it. And now, guess what? I'm using ChatGPT to play the game again, except this time, uh, instead of just following along some human programmer's route, like, oh, you, you can only go into this town, but you can't go into, you know, you, we talk to this person, they can only say a few lines and you can't do this, you can't do that because human programmers can only program so much into the game. Well, with ChatGPT, the sky's the limit. I can now do things in the game that I couldn't do before, talk to certain people, have conversations. Like I was, you know, I, I go to the castle, I talk to the king. Usually that's how it goes. And then usually if I talk to the guard next to the king, it's kind of a boring conversation. They just talk about some, uh, you know, NPC is what they call it, non-playable character, right? Well, now I can talk to the guard and have a real conversation about what it's like to work with the king and then even recruit them to be part of my party, part of my um, a team, basically, which I did. So it was so interesting. Let me go ahead and show you on the screen uh, what this looks like. All right. Um, it's it's just a text-based game. And the the difference, or I think the benefit, you know, these days, video games are so vivid and it almost like it takes away your own uh, ability to imagine yourself with a text-based game well it's just words but somehow it pulls you in and your brain naturally begins to picture the world and build that world within you so let me go ahead and show you on my screen here so this is what i did i said are this is how i started are you aware of the plot of ultima 4 an old computer game yes i am you know it kind of gives the uh summary of it or the plot basically would you be able to recreate the game text-based turn-by-turn version i can play with you and it says, hey, I can't do, obviously, the entire game, but I can do a simplified version. Well, it doesn't give itself enough credit because it's actually, in my opinion, a more complex version because I'm able to do things that I couldn't do in the past. And yet it still remembers the plot of the game, the characters, the major items that I can get, the different kinds of you know, major swords or whatever. So uh, let me continue on and show you. So. As you continue, as you, you know, you find yourself in the world, this is really how the game starts. Um, so it's really cool. Um, as you start the journey, blah, 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 you can, you can have these and you can either just pick one of the options or you can do it yourself. So I ask, I ask, do I have anything in my backpack right now? And it basically made this up. Well, I don't know if I don't remember if the game had these things, but, um, it's, it's fairly reasonable that it did, but it could also make things up. Um, and then I could sit and I, instead of choosing one of the options, I say, Hey, could I spend the day reflecting on my virtues and doing some Tai Chi exercises to ground my energy? And of course it describes my day, et cetera, et cetera. And then it asks me again about the options, et cetera. And then I, I, I just type one, which is enter the castle, speak to Lord British. And it goes, it goes ahead and does that. And, uh, and then further down, I, I say, um, uh, I say, Dear Lord British, can you sing me a song <laughs> to encourage me on my journey? And that's one of the great things about ChatGPT. It's so good at coming up with poetry and verses, songs. So yes, I made Lord British sing for me. Uh, this is an original song. Of course, everything ChatGPT comes up with is technically original. It's never been written in quite this way before. So it's pretty cool. Um, and then after that, I, I asked the nearby guard what it's like to work for, for Lord British and blah, blah, blah. And then I say, wait until the guard work shifts is over and buy him some meat and lamb chop and thoughtfully invite him to join my party, which he then does. You know, we have this, we have this convert, you know, we have this, uh, uh, time together and then he decides to join and then blah, 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 blah. And then we keep going. And then you could even ask, um, let's see here. You could, I, I keep making, making people sing in this game. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. Again, an original song happens. And then I, um, you know, and, and instead of choosing, you know, I, I go to a tavern and instead of choosing one of the options, I make something up. I said, I approach a wily looking man with an eye patch who's doing magic tricks and gathering a crowd. And it makes up the story, makes up a whole character just like that called One Eye Jack, you know? 
And uh, and further on, I want to tell I want to show you something. I ask it to list the characteristics of my party thus far, as well as the the new potential party member, the new potential teammate, and you know list their strengths, strength, dexterity, index, etc. And it gives me a it gives me a table like this. It's so cool. And it even remembers that my notable skills includes Tai Chi because remember my first turn I was doing some Tai Chi, so put that in. Wasn't part of the original Ultima. But it actually did that. So you can just keep playing like this. It's, it's really quite, quite remarkable. And I even ask it, can you summarize the game we're playing thus far and the status? Right. And then it kind of gives me, uh, a, just like, you know, a summary of what, what I've done. And this is a good idea to do it every, I don't know, five to seven messages. You should probably ask it for a summary because as, at this time, ChatGP doesn't have that long of a memory. Even within the same chat, it can't remember everything from the earliest. So, like I said, every five to seven messages, ask it to summarize so that it can remember again what it's about and then continue from there. Even if it doesn't remember, it kind of has enough clues to keep the game going. But, you know, it's a good idea to have it summarize every now and then. Um, and then later, I want to show you uh, what, I, what I've done is I met somebody new. And I asked, uh, I asked, sorry about the fast scrolling. I asked, um, ChatGPT to summarize the, 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 the characteristics with the new person. And I noticed, hmm, Thomas the guard, the, the castle guard has the worst metrics of all of these people. So guess what I said? I said, um, I said, Given Alara's intelligence, privately ask her how we can gracefully encourage Tom to stay behind and keep, go, go back to working for Lord. So in other words, I have this conversation with Thomas to ask him to leave my party. I couldn't do that in the original game. You're kind of, kind of like stuck with your party members, once you? So this is the kind of creativity that you can have, you can exercise as you play this game with ChatGPT. So now I want you to imagine, maybe you've never heard of this game Ultima before, but it doesn't matter. Do you have a favorite movie, a favorite TV show, a favorite book, okay, a favorite story? Even it could be like a fairy tale or whatever. And you can basically ask ChatGPT to let you play that story, book, movie, TV series with you as the protagonist. And then you can continue on from there. Oh, I want to show you one more thing that's really cool. I said, um, I said, what are some of the best loved items and characters from Ultima 5 through 9? Because right now I'm playing Ultima 4. Right, Ultima 4 was the beginning of this game. And now I asked it, well, what about the other Ultimas? Because I, I played those as well. What are some of the best loved characters and, and things? And it summarized for me. Oh yeah, Ultima 5 had these characters and, and this, this codex of ultimate wisdom. Ultima 6 had that, 7, 8, 9, etc. And I said, can you integrate the following into the game we're playing right now? <laughs> you don't have to mention them all right now, but can you remember these are future turns? Oh, and going forward, don't call him one night Jack, just call him Jack. And then of course, blah, blah, blah. And then it starts to integrate into, um, in, in, into the story. Now, I also say, look at the map in my backpack. Can you reproduce it in ASCII art form? And it tries its best. It's, it doesn't look so great, but you know, cause ChatGPT at this time in this recording doesn't create graphics yet. It will soon, I'm sure, but it created this little text-based graphic for me was telling me where the castle was, where this other important town was, and these other important towns and, and places. So um, anyway, this is just, this is just a, a taste of what it can possibly do. So I want to encourage you to play with it and play with your favorite story, something that maybe, um, yeah, it's quite nostalgic, something that really uh impacted you as a child a tv show a movie a book um a fairy tale a computer game and then now you can play it again as, as an adult with with your own wisdom and your own unique take on it it exercises your creativity and but it's like you you can build a whole world with ChatGPT. now let me show you another example right matrix i said hey could i play the matrix Right? And show you. Can you create a turn by turn text based adventure game for me to play where the plot follows the Matrix series from the beginning and I play Neo? Thank you. Right? It's always good to be polite to our future robot overlords. <laughs> right? So yes, welcome to the Matrix, blah, blah, blah. And I could, I could type one to begin the adventure and instead I said, look around the room. And then it says, you know, you, some of you may recognize this. You are sitting in the dimly lit apartment, blah, 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 half eaten slice of pizza. You, your computer screen is filled with green text, the mysterious message, follow the white rabbit, knock, knock, Neo. And I could have these choices. 
and I can go from there. I haven't continued yet, but I'll let you play with it if you want to. So I look forward to seeing what you do with this. And I really feel free to comment below if you want to share with us how you are playing it in this way. So thanks for watching and have fun.